This is breaking news. Former American Idol host explains why he left after single season. It was very, very cruel that first season. If you only watched American Idol in the later seasons, then you may be shocked to learn there were originally two hosts. Brian Dunkelman share hosting duties alongside Ryan Seacrest. However, he left after a single season with Seacrest taking over solely as host. What happened? Well, a big part of it may have to do with the fact that Dunkelman wasn't a fan of the first season of American Idol. He described the experience as cruel to the contestants and left a bad taste in his mouth. You're spending a lot of time with these kids in the line, and you're getting to know them, you're getting to know their parents. There was a stretch for an hour straight where kid after kid came, and every one of them was bawling. And I thought, what is going on? He recalled of the auditions on the Still Here Hollywood podcast. It got to the point where he ended up breaking down in tears during one episode. He said, at one point, I just went and found a corner behind the curtain. I just started crying. I don't know why it affected me so much. Maybe because I've auditioned so many times. I know how it's not easy. It's not easy to put yourself out there. The former American Idol host remembered the life draining from one young girl's eyes following her auditon. He didn't understand why the judges had to be so mean. I just didn't understand why that was necessary, but it was very, very cruel that first season, he said. And that's kind of what made the show such a hit, was how mean Judge Simon Cowell was. Cowell was hated. He got death threats in England. He comes here, and everybody loves the guy. Dunkelman felt the American Idol was set up to make fun of the contestants. He ultimately decided to quit. I don't believe that you should set kids up to be humiliated like that, he said. You're putting them in front of cameras, and I can hear them go. Oh, this girl, she thinks she can actually sing. We're gonna crush her. She's 16. People still think I got fired. I didn't. I wish I would have. It would have been easier, Dunkelman continued. But I'm sure I would have been fired. Life is really, really good. I know it could be hard for some people to believe, but for the first time, I really think I'm, I'm hitting my stride as a human being. I feel like this kid has changed my life, stepping away from the business for a while to raise him, Dunkelman said, and now stepping back. I really feel like I'm doing my best work, and I'm knocking on the door, and I think it's just a matter of time, but I'm really, really enjoying myself right now.